Hey guys, so today is Hamsty's uh, first day being in here. He spent the night in his tank, in this little 10 gallon um, tank, so we could be isolated. And yeah, now it's day. So we did actually notice that some of the symptoms were actually getting worse. His nose, which I'll probably show you in this video, yesterday was probably more of like a flaky pink. But now it's really like this reddish brown. And around his face, he's lost a lot of fur. And it looks like he has some sort of rash. And then also his teeth are really like long. So I don't really know what it is. Also, one of his eyes is like shut. Um, so yeah. So he has continued to eat his to eat his food. His food was um pretty full last night and you can see that he did take some nibbles out of it, which is good. We do want to continue him to um, eat food and drink water. So his water bottle is actually not there right now. It was attached with some Velcro, um, industrial Velcro, but it kept falling off all night. So I had to come back in here and put it on because I would always hear it falling. So here's just his bottle. And I'm going to re-put it on today and really try to fasten it with some tape. But what I've just been doing for the moment is just kind of sticking it in there every time he comes out of his house to get a little drink. Now, we did think that his teeth had grown way big, so we put in a lot of chews. And today I'm probably going to rub some yogurt drops on the wood chews. And you guys can see back here, he has his little cookie treat, and he really loved that. And then his cheesy chew, which he hasn't touched, and a rice pop, which he has touched. And a mineral chew, so he has a lot of things to keep him busy. His wheel actually isn't in here because I really wanted to observe him, and I feel like he's weak as it is. So just putting his wheel in there will get him even more weak, and I want him to get better, so, yeah. So if you guys watched my other video, you will know that I put up a video just, like, saying what the, some of the symptoms were. And if you guys had any suggestions... So, yeah, please go comment on that video if you have any suggestions, but today we're thinking about contacting um, our vet. So, I'm going to lift up his igloo so you guys can really see him, and if you guys have any more comments, please leave them down below, because we really, really want Hamstead to get through this, because he's a survivor. You guys can see he, he just has his cookie. So, yeah, he is continuing to eat, which is very good. I'm very happy about that. He just came out from his little house where he's tore up all the bedding to make up a little nest, and now he's just munching away. So I actually don't want to disturb him, but see, sorry, baby. Take this out. Here he is. You guys can see his face is really beat up. Um. He's lost a lot of fur around um, one side of his face, and the other eye is completely closed. And you guys can see his nose is really just like red. Um, but he has continued to be active. He ha He's still eating, drinking, which is a good sign. But like I said, we really, really want to know what it is. Um, we think he had an allergic reaction to the bedding he was on, so we changed him um, just to some toilet paper, so I'll have to clean it out daily, um, but we also think that he may be starting to develop a tumor on his face because he's lost a lot of fur. And, yeah, his nose is just, like, the weirdest thing. I don't, I just don't really know. So we're going to try our options. Today we might fix him a hard-boiled egg so he can get some protein. And we might mush up some of his food so he can eat it better. But, yeah, we're really going to try getting some options. And if you guys watch my other videos, you will know Hamsty. He was... He's like the sweetest little thing, and he's so, he's always like really chubby, but he did appear to lose some weight, and we just want him healthy again, because he does mean the world to us, just like all of our other hamsters, he's very special and very unique, 
And yeah, so if you guys know what this is, if you guys have been through it or anything like this, then guys, please leave it down below. Or maybe he wants a drink from his water bottle. Please leave it down below because I really, really need help um, with this. Because I, I just don't really know what to expect anymore. And, you know, it was really startling enough. So, yeah, please, guys. He's having a drink from his water. If you guys have any suggestions, that would be great. You guys can see his eye is shut. And he's very weak. Um, but he still is continuing to be active, which is good. Um, but, yeah, I really just need him better again. So if you guys have any suggestions, any comments, if you guys have ever been through this, please leave it down below. And we will definitely keep you guys updated throughout the day. Okay, so we have a hamsty update. If you guys see, the window is right there. So we actually decided to put this towel over um, his cage just so the sunlight doesn't hurt him too bad. There he is. He was chewing on his cheesy chew not that long ago. And I just gave him some more water. And he was very thirsty, so... Yeah, I really want to make sure that he gets the best life, and we will definitely keep you guys updated on anything. If anything happens, and if we decide to go to the vet today, then we will do a vlog there. So yeah, guys. So we actually don't really know what this is. Um, I don't, there's not really any signs of what it could be. It could be a rash. That's one thing I was thinking of. Since if you guys saw him, his face is very kind of flaky. But I also think that it could be the start of a tumor on his face or around his cheek area. So, yeah, we will definitely keep you guys on, informed on that. But if you guys know of any other illnesses that you think I should take into account, please leave them down below. Um, I don't think it's wet tail as that most of the symptoms are like sleepiness and diarrhea and stuff. But he has been sleeping a lot lately, so just by knowing that, please guys, leave it down below. It would be such a help. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. So, you guys can see Hamsty in his little igloo. So, it's currently 10 o'clock, and we went, um, and we told our dad if we could take him to the vet, and he said that he would look at him when he gets back. So right now, taking him to the vet right now is out of the question. My dad is the kind of person who doesn't really believe in taking animals to the vet. He just believes in natural cures. So I really hope that we can either take him to the vet or someone can tell us something that we should do. Because that would just be so great. So yeah, if you guys know anything, please, please guys leave it down below. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I really don't know what what to expect and what's wrong so here he is he's just taking more bedding into his house and yeah i'm just kind of spending a lot of time with him to make sure he gets better okay so i just fastened on his water bottle again and this is how i chose to do it this time so hopefully it'll stay up okay guys so that's pretty much it for hamsty's vlog um we'll update you guys if anything major happens, or we'll do another vlog tomorrow so we can see if the symptoms are getting better or getting worse. I really hope he makes it. And please, guys, like I said before, if you have any idea of what this is, just please leave it down below. It would be such a big help, and we'd be so grateful. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.